what a great afternoon it's looking to be. The birds are chirping and the sun is shining. It's almost like something out of a Jimmy Dean commercial. That being said, I want to focus on something. Being someone of the Mexican specialty has led to some pretty interesting confrontations and conversations in my life, especially in a white suburb. As a matter of fact, I would argue there is a specific list of questions and comments that every Hispanic has heard in their life. Man, you guys must love spicy food. Well, well, I'm sure that applies to most Hispanics. If you've been watching the edible interviews... Wow. <laughs> 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 be able to kill it on the dance floor. Again, that probably applies to most Hispanics, but I am the minority in the minority where I wasn't blessed with amazing dance skills. However, while we are on the topic of dancing, I would argue there are three levels of dancing if you're a Hispanic. Level one, I call this one side to side, because you're literally just moving side to side with the music. Level two, I call this one side to side advance because you're still moving just from side to side, but this move you can do with a partner. And there's level three. I call this one side to side, front and back, because the people that have attained this level of dancing are just freaking amazing. I, you know, I, I would show you a video, but I, I yet to still to attain that level. Shut up! You must have like a million relatives, right? This one's actually pretty spot on. I mean, considering I've got 60 cousins and 20 aunts and uncles, I mean, at the very least, this comment applies to my life. What can I say? We're a big family kind of people. Man, all you Latinos look the same. Well, I always thought that one was kind of ridiculous. Okay, that's different! Man, Latinos are pretty hot. This comment I always found kind of interesting because I believe it was always directed more at the Spanish language than it was in Hispanics. Because at least as far as America is concerned, the Spanish language has the ability to take a ridiculous sounding sentence in English and make it sound sexy in Spanish. Don't know what I mean? Well, let me show you an example. Me gusta comer panqueques. Jeez, you're always so late. Well, so is everyone else, so what's your point? Do you listen to mariachi or salsa music? Well, yes we do, but I mean, that's not all we listen to. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Luis Miguel and Vicente Fernandez. But us Hispanics aren't afraid to tell the story of our lives or put a ring on it. Or to wiggle. That was so bad. Oh, you're Hispanic! Well, you don't look Hispanic. This one's actually pretty funny. What I do when I meet people and they want to know what ethnicity I am, I ask them to guess. And over the years, I've gotten a pretty good array of responses. From people thinking I'm Italian, to Filipino, to Indian, to people thinking I'm black. Which, quite frankly, I still don't get. And for number one, it's a tie between where's your accent and can you speak Spanish? Well, for the record, yes, I can speak Spanish. But no, I don't have an accent. I mean, my vulnerability to spicy food, my limited dancing ability, my preference for artists besides Shakira and Juan Gabriel, for Chipotle above a taqueria, and for a movie above a soccer game didn't tell you anything, then my lack of an accent will be all you need to confirm that I am the whitest Mexican since Demi Lovato. Or Selena Gomez. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Please be sure to comment, subscribe, or like our Facebook page. Next week, Camille is coming at you with his video. I don't know what it is yet, don't have to wait to find out. Alright guys. Until next time.